Nvidia can't hold a hundred trillion dollars or more of wealth, but Bitcoin can. Michael Saylor has talked about certain assets not having the capital structure to appropriately hold a hundred trillion dollars of wealth. Nvidia is an example of a mega cap technology company that can only grow so large. Nvidia now has a market capitalization above 2.5 trillion for the first time in its history. Nvidia is now larger than Tesla and Amazon combined. Additionally, Nvidia is now larger than the entire German stock market. On top of that, Nvidia is larger than the market cap of the Italian and Australian stock markets combined. Just five years ago, NVIDIA had a market cap of only $100 billion. It is now the third largest public company in the world. The problem with holding long-term wealth in NVIDIA is that this won't last forever. What Michael Saylor means by not having the capital structure to hold $100 trillion or more worth of wealth is that there is a leak in this asset. The more wealth the world tries to stuff in NVIDIA, the larger the potential leak can become. Now, what's the leak? Well, there's a number of leaks. One is management. In big tech companies like NVIDIA, the top executives and key employees often get rewarded with stock options, bonuses, and dividends. These rewards encourage them to do their best, but they also take away some of the company's value. Maybe 1% of the total company's value is siphoned off each year for management. Two, competition. Jeff Bezos once said, your margin is my opportunity. If you think free markets are competitive and efficient, then good competition is inevitable. Since NVIDIA is valued off the present value of their estimated future cash flows, then competitors are constantly looking to get their share of those future profits. 3. Creative Destruction As technology is advancing more and more rapidly, new technology discoveries can severely disrupt incumbents. There's no guarantee that a new entrepreneur won't invent a 100x cheaper or 100x more efficient computation device that makes NVIDIA's GPUs obsolete. 4. Prices fall to the marginal cost of production. In free competitive markets, prices usually drop to match the cost of making the products. For NVIDIA, even though they may start with high profit margins, prices will eventually fall as competitors catch up. This drop in prices reduces potential future profits, which is exactly what the company is valued on. Five, and maybe most importantly, is overvaluation. Nvidia stock price is based on the present value of its future free cash flows. This means investors are betting on how much cash the company will generate in the future. However, its total valuation can only go up so high before it stops making sense compared to other companies. If NVIDIA's valuation gets too far ahead of its estimated future earnings, it becomes overvalued relative to other stocks, making NVIDIA leak as a store of wealth as investors exit NVIDIA for other companies. So this is what Saylor means when he says big tech doesn't have the capital structure to hold $100 trillion plus worth of wealth. Big tech is perpetually leaking or melting away over time. Bitcoin is the only monetary asset in the world without a leak. It does not melt no matter how much wealth you try to stuff inside Bitcoin, as there will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin. And since it's a monetary good, you can't devalue Bitcoin by creating copies or competitors of it. There's only space for one best monetary good because that's the whole purpose of money, to converge on one common tool for savings and trade. So if you like this video, hit follow or subscribe, like, retweet, and share on whichever platform you're watching this on. It'll help more people learn about Bitcoin. Thanks for watching everyone and see you next time.